Hi guys, it's Patricia and today is my non scentsy wax empties for the month. This includes candles, retail, and vendor wax. Even though I love scentsy, I do kind of experiment with other things. So I'm going to sort through my bin and then we will get into it. Okay, so we're going to start with the candles. I like to do that first. My first one is from Sand and Fog, which is pineapple coconut. It's 12 ounce, two wick. And it's kind of grungy in there because my husband actually decided to finish burning. So that's probably why you see soot and a big scorch mark. I went away for the weekend. He decided to finish this off, which is very odd for him. But this is a very nice pineapple coconut scent. Nice and soft, not a boomer, but enjoyable. So a light throw on this. Sometimes with the two wicks, I would get tunneling up the side and then it would gradually melt down. And I did find this one burned a bit on the fast side. So that is Sand and Fog Pineapple Coconut. Would not be a repurchase, but I am glad I tried it. The second one is from White Burn. It is Paris Cafe. So this is a strong coffee scent, very basic, intense coffee, a little bit bitter, but nice and strong, very strong scent throw. Three wicks, no issues with the burn, no soot. I think I might've had, the only issue I had were the wicks were kind of those curly wicks, which I didn't really like. I call them impotent wicks, anyway. Yeah, this one here, I would repurchase again. However, my son, who is very agreeable to most things, is very pleasant, loves things in life, couldn't stop complaining about this. So because of that, I can't stand the constant complaining. I can't handle listening to him. I'm not going to repurchase. Now, what I like to do is I like to burn coffee scents on the days that I work. I get up early. I light a candle and put a couple wax melts in some tea light uh, warmers. And that's what I like to do. So they're usually only on for about three hours at the most. So that's why I need a three wick. So here you'll see a one wick Yankee Cafe Al Fresco. So I was burning this one, but the problem is sometimes it wouldn't have enough time to pull out. Then, you know, it's just a struggle with the one wick Yankees. This one is more of a creamy caramel, sweet coffee vibe. So lighter on the coffee, bumped up on the other things. Paris Cafe was just a very straightforward coffee scent to me. This one is more of a creamy caramel coffee scent. Yeah, I like this one, but there was a lot of wax left over. I didn't have any issues with the burn, except for the fact that it's hard to have enough time to let it pull out. No issues with the burn. I would say medium plus on the scent throw, no soot. I noticed how much wax was left over, so I decided to put up my warmer, and that was really uh, enhanced the scent throw. And my daughter came down and she said, what is that disgusting smell? So you see, I can't win. And I do have a third child. Unfortunately, he does not speak, but I always joke around that I think he would agree with me. So we have a two wick Yankee and Juicy Lemon. This is a beautiful yellow wax. It is, how many ounces is this? 22 ounces. And this is a wonderful, tangy, sweet lemon curd smell. Reminds me of Squeeze the Day from Scentsy, a little bit different. This one did get puny wicks at times. I think I cotton balled this one twice. I could always smell this one, which I appreciated. I would say a medium on the scent throw, maybe even a little stronger. I really like this, and if I saw it again, I would repurchase it. And I finished a one wick Yankee in Black Plum Blossom. This is classified as a fruit, but there's definitely some uh, floral in here, not too, too much. A nice, strong, tangy black plum, almost like a bit of currant in there. Yeah, I like this one. It was a little bit smudgy. You can kind of see a little bit of smudge and there's some soot up here and that was my fault because on the last burn I let the wick get really long. And I did put this on the melter to try to get a little bit more life out of it because again, there's quite a bit of wax left in the bottom and there was oils just dripping so I, I put it on the warmer for a bit too. Yeah. Okay, so I also finished up a box of Yankee's Gingerbread Tea Lights. You might be wondering why I would use a gingerbread tea lights in the middle of summer, but these did not have any scent. They were gifted to me. They were, they were just um, something that someone wanted to get rid of. So I took them, I think back from 2012. So they work well in a tea light warmer if it's an open style tea light warmer. So they tend to last a little bit longer than regular tea lights. I used up three tarts, one in peach cobbler, which I like. I'm a, a bit on a peach kick right now and two in sun-drenched apricot rose. This is a beautiful scent, very nice combination. I can see why people love that. I've got a medium jar going kind of in process, and I had two votives. There's a hair. I think it's one of my hairs, but still. 
Two Votas in Sun Drenched Apricot Rose. Such a nice scent. I can see why people like that one. So for retail, a Sensationals, a US exclusive. This is Cotton Candy Cloud. This is from Danielle. Now this one here is a little bit of a cotton candy vibe, but it's almost like got like a musky, stale undertone, which I didn't really love. I definitely loved Unicorn Cake. So if I had to pick between the two, I would definitely pick Unicorn Cake over Cotton Candy Cloud. That one was a little bit, I would say, it definitely wasn't as good as in performance as Unicorn Cake. So this one was from Sensationals. It is a sweaty bar, and this is the only sweaty bar I've ever had from Sensationals. And it obviously discolors, but this is called Mixed Berry Cobbler. This is very tangy berry with very little cobbler. So very little bakery, lots of tangy blackberry mixed berries. It reminds me, I think I don't like it because it reminds me of a time back when I was an underage drinker and I drank, I think it was Rockaberry Cooler or Rockaberry something from Canadian Cooler. It was disgusting. I drank too much and brings back bad memories. So that is Mixed Berry Cobbler. It will not be a repurchase. And this will also not be a repurchase. I think this was one my son picked out from Febreze. It's called Meadows and Rain. This one I definitely don't like, so I, I don't think I picked it out. Sometimes when they're, we're at Walmart or something, I let them pick out something if they like it. This one is very, I don't know. It almost smells like it has fizzy pop mixed in with like a meadow and rain, but it, do, it doesn't jive well. Now, after a few hours, I actually kind of like it. But I mean, the first few hours are really hard to get through. And this lasts a long time, by the way. <laughs> so if you like that scent, that is a great thing for you. So let's talk a vendor wax. We'll do American and then Canadian. I'm going to try to whiz through this. From Barrett's Wax Craft Strawberry Rhubarb. Excellent. I liked it. It had that tang from the rhubarb. The strawberry was nice. Nice and strong. Did very well in my open concept layout. Great as a mixer. If all of his wax is like this, I am going to be a happy camper. That's my first that I've tried. I'm such a slacker. From Dank Stinks, from Danielle, this is called The Witch's Garden. And I'll read you the notes. Cinnamon bark, musk, black tea, patchouli, jasmine, cannabis, and bergamot. So a little bit different, a fall scent that's a little bit of a different fall scent. These were very small, so it was hard to kind of pick it up well. But what I could pick up, I didn't dislike it. But it was definitely on the fall line, but not your traditional fall, almost like an exotic fall. From Kay's Creations, I've used up three tarts in Jelly Donut. So that is described as Jelly Donut and Sweet Glaze. A light to medium performing scent. I would say heavy on the raspberry vibe with the, that jelly part. Not as heavy on the donut part but the, you can almost smell like the sweetness of the icing. It's, it's a nice scent. I like to warm it in my bedroom so I can get the scent a little bit better. Sugar Cookie from Kay's Creations. I don't really know what this was like because I mixed it, but it was just a straightforward cookie scent on cold. So yeah, and you can't really smell it. And these are from March, so I'm trying to use them up. March 2018, I'm trying to use them up. It was my first order ever. I'm such a slacker. <laughs> okay, from Sassy Girl, I finished up two tiles. These were from a D stash a long time ago. The first one we'll talk about is Cotton Candy Grape Bubblegum. And this one wasn't really in my scent wheelhouse. I finished it off. I don't really love grape scents. It was medium. It was medium in performance, medium in... I didn't love it, kind of thing. So it would not be a repurchase. And this one was a very strong performer, but very low on the scent appeal for me. And it is called Cotton Candy Funnel Cake Popcorn Caramel Apple. Very almost like a burned smell in the background. It was hard to get through. I don't like to throw out things, but this was hard to get through. And bam, was this strong, and this thing lingered. You know, traditional caramel, you know, circus concession kind of scents, those can kind of be strong. Yeah, my daughter came down and said, what is that disgusting smell? <laughs> it was this. <laughs> anyway. From She Loves Cake, I'm just trying to whiz through some of these. It is Sugar Butt, and that is a vanilla waffle cone, strawberry jam, mallow, and cotton candy. And I have a lot of this because I got a, like a 13 pound D stash from someone for a really good price, and it was just a bunch of stuff. So I just grabbed it all because that's the way it was. And there was a lot of this. Now these are these are fairly good performers. They're like medium. Um, I'm just not crazy about this scent, so I did mix it with a little bit of Barrett's. 
uh, strawberry rhubarb. Okay, from Canada. Let's do Canada. It's Canada Day, so we're gonna go patriotic here. From Mandela Melts, I'm trying to use up her wax. Now again, I picked these up on a D-stash, so I'm not sure of how the other people stored them, but I won't be repurchasing very much of her wax because I have mixed results. I find some are really good and most of them are lower performers for me. Okay, so what I usually do with her wax is I cut any of the one ounce scent shots in half. I put them in a 15 watt mini warmer in my kid's bathroom, there's two of them, and that's the way I can get a reliable, decent scent throw. That's the only warmer I've, and room I can kind of get reliable results. So that's what I've been doing. So the first one I finished up was called Bell Sprout. I don't even know. Anyway, this one was Rosemary Mint. I liked this one. It was pretty medium performance. Yeah, I like this one. This was good. Uh, the next one, I don't have a name, but it was Olive Branch Lush Dupe. This one I didn't like as much, and it didn't seem as strong as the Rosemary Mint. The next one I have is called Magnemite, and this was le Lemon Lime Soda and Strawberry Soda. Most lemon lime scents are fairly strong, but this one was extremely light. I think the strawberry soda just it kind of dampened it a bit too much. That one was really hard to pick up. This one was a bit better. It's called Val Valtorb. I wish these were bigger. It's hard to read. Lemon lime soda and banana, kiwi and pineapple. This says a Bahama Fizz Bath and Body Works dupe. This one was pretty average. Better than that other one I was talking about. Yeah. Okay, so now the best one from Mandela Melts was definitely this one. It was Pidgey. So this one is described as Satsuma Oranges and Fresh Laundry. Now this one was about a medium performer, but it was a little bit lighter than you would expect of a laundry, but I liked it anyway, and I probably would pick it up. So you could really pick up that orange, and you could really pick up the laundry. And my son kept asking for me to warm this. So this one, if I did repurchase, I would repurchase this, but... Would I find enough to make the order worthwhile? I'm not sure. And her shipping kind of seems on the expensive side to me, so. Okay, for Make Sense Candles, I finished up two. And these are from March 2018, my very first order. I'm trying to whiz through them. So the first one was Waikiki Beach, which is piña colada, pineapple, pear, mandarin oranges. This one I don't really remember being outstanding. It was just fairly average. Nothing to write home about. I would not repurchase that one. But this one I really liked, it's called Monkey Toots. This one reminded me of Skinny Dippin' from Scentsy, but it has bananas, grapefruit, mango, kiwi, mixed berries, and coconut. I didn't really get a lot of coconut, but in general it had like a Skinny Dippin' vibe. Uh, it was pretty good. From Tallulah and Poe, she's out of Ottawa. I finished up Just Add Tequila. This is Margarita Sea Salt with a hint of Life Gives You Limes. And Life Gives You Limes is a combination of a couple scents, I believe. This one was really strong when I first got it last year, and it definitely lost some scent. I would say if you find a scent that is very, very strong, warm it, warm it right away, because it's strong, it's good to go. But this is very heavy on the lime, which I love. I would repurchase it and maybe just warm it a little bit sooner. And the next one is called Sweet Tea. This one is Georgia Peach Red Bush Tea and Spun Sugar. This is a light peach scent, a very pretty scent, but a little too light for me. This was purchased on a D-stash, so I'm not sure how old it is. I'm thinking probably a little over a year. Yeah. And I can definitely get the tiniest hint of that skunk smell from some of the clams. So I think I prefer purchasing things in bags, which is what we have here. This is Tallulah and Po Love You a Latte. This is the scent that kind of got me into Tallulah and Po. I tried it on a D-stash, fell in love. It's probably a light to medium, maybe a little closer to medium performer. It's basically coffee cake and French vanilla. This was really nice. My daughter said it's like walking into a Tim Hortons. You smell the donuts. You smell like that bakery, cafe. It doesn't really have coffee in it, but maybe you can just imagine that there's a bit of coffee plus with the name. That's a really nice one. So there you have it. That's all my items. I'd like to wish everyone a happy Canada Day. It's very gloomy here. It's early in the morning. I'm half asleep. If you made it through this video to the end I'd like to say thank you and if you're from the US in advance I'd like to wish you a happy Independence Day. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.